Hey guys, how's it going? Um, hey, oh, let me get a better. That's better. Uh, <laughs> that's weird how it changes look. Ready? Look at the quality. You know how it tries to bring out the black small, but now it's better. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. The, look, the fud's getting really bad at the moment. People are arguing. Heck, even on. Um, even I'm like catching myself out to being like getting in drama and stuff. Yeah. It, hey, th this is what um, a lot of us said would happen. You know, like uh, a lot of people uh, going around with inflated egos, you know, trying to tell who's right, who's wrong. But it's getting bad. It's getting to the point where people are starting to like really yell at each other in spaces and stuff. Um, you know, but guys, this is, this is all due to the government, like what they say, like, it's just BS, it's bullshit. <laughs> How can you even look like, you know, saying uh, like, for example, MasterCard and Visa saying, oh, they're pausing, um, they're pausing, oh, working on blockchain technology, <laughs> whatever, you know, like, like pausing. Okay. Because what, it's the bear market <laughs> and they're going to do it when, and they're going to continue when what, it's the top of the market or the start of a bull run. What, what are you talking about, mate? They've already probably, <laughs> I'm almost certain in my opinion, that they've already got their shit done. So have banks. They've already got their digital wallets made. They've already got their system set up. You know, the front end is all done. The back end is Ripple, XLM, like all, all those networks and protocols, not the coins, but the protocols and networks. People are not understanding that this is, well, they do, but <laughs> people are forgetting that this is, whether it is two years, three years, five years, ten years, think of your kids, kids, kids. This is staying around forever. Forever. You know, it's not going away. So, so let me get this straight. S uh, the people who are scared. So you think the, the current legacy systems are way better than the distributed ledger ledgers, the distributed ledger technology that was invented uh, in on Bitcoin's inception. Come on. Are you serious? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, uh, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't, like, logically. Um, that, 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 you know, I'm not just saying that about Ripple. That's with Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, Stellar, X, uh, XRP, Ripple, um, Quant. You know, they are staying around. Guys, well, I'm, I'm more certain on Ripple and XRP and um, Stellar, but, you know, <laughs> hey, represent, <laughs> um, but no, like, the, the these coin, these networks are staying around, guys, the way, uh, the way they, these protocols work, fucking blows the minds, of bankers they are they no matter how much they don't want to admit it the people who are working like uh, I don't know the, the um, payment processes the actual the actual people that like uh, the record-keeping people what the free I'm I'm getting a mind blank here but um, the people who actually work in the banks handling these payments are actually really fascinated I've heard this multiple times in videos and on like studies. Um, they love it. And I don't get how Australia has been testing Ripple since 2014. I think. <laughs> yeah, 2014, 2015. Like... I 
I know people are scared in the US, but I will say, um, I truly do believe that uh, they've already got their stuff set up. Like it's just all a, it's it's all a show, a very slow show um, that doesn't make sense. That will all come together in the end, you know. Um, there's gonna be twists. There's gonna be finger pointing, such as like the media pointing fingers at the government. You watch, they'll be like, oh. Um, oh, they're not transparent. Oh, they're not decentralized. It's them. It's them. It's them. It's the government. It's this, this, this. It's that bank. It's this bank. It's this social media. Like, you watch them. You watch them. I promise. They will start the blame game. Start blaming everybody. Um, and then we're the ones that are going to be the most annoyed because we're going to be like, bro, you, you, you guys were the whole instigators of this bullshit. You know, like you guys are the sole friggin direct line between what the normies get, normies, just the average folk, you know, yeah, most people, fuck, most people believe the news. <laughs> so they're not getting told shit. And when they do get told shit, it's, oh, we're using DLT technology, but it's never, it's never the name or anything. So what does that tell you? It's just, it's just common sense. You know, they're, they're, they're hiding, in my opinion, they're hiding the names of networks, the names of coins. Why? Why? Mostly, I don't think it's as simple as, oh, I don't want them to get rich, so I don't want them to know. No, I think it's more of NDAs, um, NDAs and, uh, uh, less, uh, how do I describe this? Like, they don't want other institutions knowing exactly what the big boys are going to be buying. Like, you know? Because they don't really give a shit about us, but they care about the other institutions. And they're all telling each other, you know, on paper, publicly, you know, in PDFs and that, that they're using this and this and this, and they're going to use XRP. What do you think other, in other institutions are going to freaking buy up everything? <laughs> They're going to buy up the whole thing, all of them, multiple institutions, hundreds, maybe thousands. They're going to be like, oh, the Bank of International Settlement is using XRP. Look, they said, oh, Bank of America is using XRP. Look, they said, I'm going to go buy freaking a billion dollars worth on a private freaking wallet that I didn't KYC on. <sighs> it's like, it's like the, 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 there's so many catalysts. Um, for Ripple and XRP, you know, for, for, for prosperity moving forward. It's just a joke at this point. I don't give a shit what happens in the case. It could be called a security. It could be called a fucking, it could be called a friggin', I don't know, piece of rock, uh, a piece of dirt, I don't know. It could be called anything. Freaking hell. Um, all I know is, I know Ripple is going to be, uh, if, if XRP gets deemed as a freaking security, do you think Ripple, after all them years, after talking about XRP and how it's amazing and how they're probably pitched using it to like 170 plus bank, do you think they're going to just fucking give it up and make a new coin? What, what would they call it? Ripple coin? Guess what? It was already called Ripple at one point. Uh, hmm. That's crazy. You know, oh, like, <sighs> I don't know, I'm just like, I'm actually like shocked and a bit upset, I suppose. I'm fine, like, I'm still the same as I was, it's just like, I'm just saying like now it just seems like, uh, it's finally the time when the fight is the worst because even if it dips down and even if the market dips down another 10 percent i think we'll all just be going yeah 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 i i expect this i expected this so i think fuck everything could go to zero and i'll be like shit <laughs> i'll be like shit 
XRP community, Stellar community, Quant community. Hey, they've all been saying this. They've all been saying this. Um, it's kind of weird though. Like I, th I think um, we're all in like we all sort of have the same sort of mindset in terms of like fuck. We just expect everything. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. <laughs> Like, if the market crashes, we, we, yeah, we're good. If the market fucking goes up to, yeah, we're good. If market stays sideways, we're good. A little pissed off, but we're good. If it, games, it gets deemed, deemed a security, we're good. If it de if it's deemed not a security, we're good. Look, if we truly believe, well, I'll speak on my behalf. I truly believe that this technology is going to prosper. Um, you know, Ripple's got the patent on ODL, the fact that it has offline payments. And if you go on my Twitter, um, you scroll down, there was a there was a post by ABC and there was a video and they describe one of their coming up tests and it's with a network that can facilitate offline payments. And what... Protocol can do that freaking flawlessly. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> but no. Uh, oh, by the way, side note, the way that it works is that one has to be online and one can truly be offline. Um, and I'm sure KYC between the two, because they're going to have devices to connect because one has to be offline, one is online. They're going to connect with some sort of biometric um, identification confirmation with um, could be like facial recognition too. Um, it could be trust lines, which is that's probably what it's going to be is like trust lines from when you actually, um, you know, when you actually initiated like the process of getting that device or new card or or when you initially sign up to the bank, or maybe when you sign up to their new digital wallet program. Yeah, there's going to be trust lines, you know, say I, I sign up to Westpac, get a digital wallet, I walk down to the shops, um, I can use my digital wallet uh, with, you know, with my CBDC. Um, and they set their, um, you know, their compatible systems and stuff up with Westpac or whatever it is, um, that creates a trust line. You know, it creates multiple trust lines. We're probably going to be one big, like, how do I describe it? Like, we're going to be one big, just the whole planet's going to be fucking DLT. Like, we're all going to, it's going to, we're going to be, um, we're going to be more, I think we're going to be more so like our own b bank. Oh, I feel like that's not the right. Nah, it's not the right word. I think we're going to have just way more control over our privacy um, and what we're actually able to buy, sell, make profits on. And I think there's, even though there's going to be like 2 million jobs gone roughly from like AI and stuff, I still think that people aren't realizing that the jobs and ways to make money that will be created through distributed ledger technology such as Ripple, XLM, and Quant, uh, probably not Quant, but like uh, XRP for sure, you can definitely, as Quincy said, you can definitely make a multi-million dollar business with like 100 XRP. Um, I'll probably be looking into that. I want to I wanna eventually develop something for property um, in my local area. Um, so it'll be cool, be cool, but yeah, you know, like there's going to be so much more jobs and I'm not saying like the 2 million jobs plus the million, plus the couple, probably m half a million, million jobs created by DLT is going to happen at the same time. But, you know, I actually expect, you know, a lot of people to lose jobs from AI a bit quicker, obviously, cause that's coming quick and then i'd say in like 2025 plus um yeah you're gonna see the biggest boom ever ever oh wow um so all i would suggest to my friend slash me <laughs> in my opinion i would tell myself to just keep accumulating um the, uh, 
the, a good mindset that I keep myself in is just do the same what you have planned. That's all. Um, yeah. So that was just, I don't know, that was just a little rant um, slash just general talk. But yeah, I don't know if half the shit makes sense. I've just been a bit stressed the past couple of days. Um, yeah, just stressing out with CoinSpot. CoinSpot, you know, I, I try to send stuff to my ledger. Shit's getting held up with XCC, XLM and XRP. Every, you know, I've chatted to them like seven times you know, ask, asking them to process my payments and stuff. And then they were trying to tell me, like, oh, I was like, no, they were like, oh, XRP payments or sends uh, or withdrawals um, can take up to uh, 12 hours. I'm like, yo, ho. <laughs> X the XRPL does not, um, does not take 12 hours. And they're like, oh, we can assure you, do, do, do. And I'm like, okay, well, it's obviously your, it's obviously the way CoinSpot works. You know, they want to make sure they have it to actually send, you know. Yeah. Stressful times. But I bought a shit ton of more XRP and I think I've reached my goal. Yeah. It's in the five digits. Five digits XRP. Boom. Boom. Hey, we're going to be wealthy soon, guys. Um, uh, if you guys have been watching Digital Outlook, the Staples crew, etc. One King, especially, Alphanem, um, way more, I so go. You know from like a couple months ago, three, four months ago, that we were all saying, and Psycho Bowl too, you were saying too, um, that the FUD was gonna, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt when we are near was going to get like this. And I actually believe that we have arrived at the time where the FUD is truly that bad. Um, so we must be close. I'm betting we're gonna hear something from the case. I don't know if it's good or bad. I, I don't give a shit. I just want the shit to be over. It's just ridiculous. Gary Gensler just. Um, he's like a weirdo puppet, um, for the banks. Yeah. Like he, yeah. Fuck Eric Gensler. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Catch you later.